What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, we are going to be doing something that I probably should have done when I first got these wheels. Um, I noticed that they look really, really ashy. I mean, they look ashier right now than the webbings of my hands. So I was washing the car yesterday and even though it's going to rain on Sunday, um, whatever day this comes out to you guys, and my wheels just look really ashy. So they're pretty clean. I didn't drive the car. They look, well, not really clean, but I mean, that's dirt. But they just look really dull. So I did a little test spot on the other side of the wheel. And this is what I came up with. Uh, maybe it is this side. Hold on. That was the back wheel. So I have some turtle wax. Is it this wheel? I don't know which wheel it is. But uh, I, oh, I think it's this one. So even with it being kind of clean, I went and used some uh, rubbing compound on the wheels to brighten up the color because this is technically a factory wheel. So it has a factory paint. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what to do to kind of brighten up your wheel a little bit. As you can see, there are some nicks. Uh, this is not from me, by the way. It's from the previous owner of these wheels. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead, and go ahead and uh, clean these up with some, um, like, Final Touch Detailer or something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and clean the face of the wheel. If you want to get more extreme with it, you can go ahead and take off the wheel and get the inside as well. Um, I will possibly do that off camera one of these days. But, yeah, go ahead and uh, let's get this started. So, go ahead and spray some cleaner on there. This is panel prep. It's basically alcohol and water. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the whole wheel. I mean, as you can see, like right here, it's just starting to get super ashy already. I mean, it looks clean at first, like most black cars, and then it just gets super filthy. Just ashy. You know, kind of not taken care of, which is my bad on my part. I should have done this a long time ago when I first got the car. Now, this process is probably going to take you maybe a full day or a few hours at least. So, yeah, be prepared for that. If you have a garage and you're quarantined right now, this is probably the best time to do it. Just so you're active and you're not doing anything. If you have kids, you're not around your kids, I guess. So, like I said, even with it being wiped down clean, like this is clean. It just looks ashy and really gross. So, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to use to clean these up quite a bit. The only thing that's clean is like my center cap because those came off of my other wheels. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this right here. Yeah, it just looks disgusting. Yeah, so even with the clean, cleaner part of the rag, it just looks, looks nasty. <laughs> even though the rag is clean. Yeah, so you can kind of see it's squeaky clean. It just looks really bad. So let me go ahead and go into the car and get out what we're going to be using to clean up these uh, these wheels a little bit more. So we're going to be using this turtle wax uh, rubbing compound right here. So I got this literally maybe about a few years ago and I haven't used it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I bought it. It was just kind of like those impulse buys, but um, this is really good if you're going to be um, kind of doing something like this. I would not use it for your paint. I would uh, use this more for um, like wheels, uh, like little stuff. Nothing really for your paint. It says for your paint, but uh, I wouldn't use it, honestly. It's really gritty, um, especially if you don't know what you're doing. You're, you're not going to, you're, you're probably going to mess something up. So what you're going to need is you're going to need 
a microfiber towel. You're going to need this stuff as well. And then it's going to go along your whole wheel. So I'm going to show you guys the before. Actually, I'm going to do one of them, like one whole wheel. i show you the other wheel just, just so you can see that, you know, this stuff does work. So um, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the time lapse. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get a little bit of this compound and put it on your rag. I like to do like at least a good two finger method, I guess you'd say. And uh, kind of wrap that around there on your finger. And then go ahead and just put a good amount that you feel comfortable with, depending on your will. And I'm going to go ahead and just start kind of in one square at a time, which is going to take a while, but uh, yeah. So. Now, hopefully you guys can see a difference here in so far what I've done. This is untouched right here. I haven't touched any of this yet. Like right here, right here. It looks all kind of oxidized, all in here. But so far I did right here. Right here is like, well, sorry. Right here is a bunch of like pitting, possibly from um, brake dust. But right here, it looks way better than what it did. So that's one way you can do it. You can do it by hand like that. Or you can even, um, if you have like that little like, like a spinny cone thing, you can do the same thing like that. But I don't have one, but this is one way you can do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go off camera. I have another tool that I'm going to use um, that's kind of expensive that not everybody has. But uh, it's basically a uh, like mini disc um, like that Dremel, but uh, a buffer. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, off camera do it on this because this is taking a long time and I have things to do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and go ahead and hit the rest of this wheel, like stuff like right here um, on the top and everything like that. So uh, I'll be back in a second with the final product. All right, the wheel is finally done now, guys. So there's still some spots that I got to get back. Um, if you guys are wondering what I was using, I was using a Roops um, Nano uh, to get into like the tight crevices. Um, you guys could use that or you guys can do it by hand. I just find it to be a little bit easier to do it by um, with the Nano. Um, but it's still a little dull in some places, don't get me wrong. But it looks ten times better. So this is what it looks like before or after, I should say. 
and what your will looks like before you do this. So, yeah, it's a big difference. Um, I like it. It's pretty good. Turtle wax uh, compound is actually working pretty well on the wheels. But, um, yeah, that's basically how you uh, kind of make your wheels look from this to this. So nice and clean, nice and black. Go ahead and get some brake clean just in case if you do use a Nano, it gets onto your brakes. You don't want that um, kind of messing up your brakes. In here, I'm not too worried about just because it does get dirty. And if I dismount my wheels. But uh, other than that, guys, all you got to do is just do like a little bit of cleaning up like right here with the Nano. Uh, it's on my tires, but it's fine. Um, with all that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and do this for all rest of the tires. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please go ahead and please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified for when my videos do come out. And uh, with all that being said, guys, stay focused, be safe, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace out. If you want me to get close to you, just tell me what to do, tell me what to do. If you want me to take over, just give me the green light, just give me the green light. If you want me to get close to you, just tell me what to do, tell me what to do.